Welcome to another video. Today's video is for a snatched lower face. So we'll work on toning the neck, releasing tension in the jaw, and also toning the jawline. We're gonna jump right into it with the Venus flytrap exercise or the advanced neck lift. So smile and pull your lower lips over your lower teeth. Then take your wrists and put them together and slide your thumbs underneath your chin and out to your ears until your mandible is placed on your palms. Support your jaw with the rest of your fingers and press your chin out and down towards your palm. So adding resistance from your hands and then your chin pressing out and down into your hands. Keep pulling the corners of your mouth back to your mo molar teeth, those back teeth so you feel an activation in your cheek muscles and in your jaw. Keep pressing your jaw forward and down into your hands here. We're gonna hold for a few more breaths. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and you can go ahead and release from the pose. Next, we're gonna do a gentle jaw massage. So take the tips of your fingers and make circular motions along your jaw muscle here. Find what feels good for you. You can move in a up and downward motion. You can move horizontal, releasing any tension in the jaw here. And go at your own pace. Go as fast or as slow as what feels good to you. Just releasing any of the tension in the jaw. This muscle tends to be overworked and very tight, so it's important to release tension in this area whenever possible. Inhale. Exhale and release. We're gonna move on to the neck toner exercise. So place your wrists together over your neck and pulse your neck outward like you're pushing your hands away. The activation in the movement should come sol solely from your neck here. So acting like you're pushing your hands away, this is what it looks like without the hands covering it. It's pulses of the neck Keep your back straight, your neck straight, and your shoulders relaxed here. Keep your jaw relaxed and keep your forehead relaxed. Try to make sure the movement is only coming from the neck muscle here and then go ahead and release. We're gonna do this little trio two more times here. So let's move to Venus flytrap, the advanced neck lift. Pull our bottom lip over our bottom teeth. Place the hand just underneath the mandible. Protrude the chin forward and down, and you have an option here to support the jaw with the fingers, or you can take the index fingers and hold that nasal labial fold so it makes this Venus flytrap shape. Keep pressing your chin forward and down, and your hands are resisting the pressure. Keep pulling the corners of your mouth into your back molars here. Keep pressing forward and down with your chin. Remember to breathe here. Relax the back of your neck, relax your shoulders. We're gonna hold for a few breaths together. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and inhale, exhale, and release from the pose. Great job. Let's move back to the jaw massage, except this time, if you're comfortable, let's use our knuckles here. So it adds a little bit of extra pressure. Remember to be gentle here, making circular motions on the jaw here gently covering the entire muscle and finding what feels good, releasing any tension here. As I said earlier, this is a very overworked and very tense muscle, muscle usually, and helping to release the tension as much as you can is very beneficial for the entire face so the jaw muscle isn't pulling down on any other muscles surrounding it. So releasing the tension and inhale, exhale, release. We're gonna move back to the neck toner exercise. So placing the hands gently over the neck and we're not applying pressure with the hands here. We're just using this as a guide to push our neck into our hands. So the activation is coming fully from the neck here. Remember to sit up straight, keep your back and neck straight and also your shoulders relaxed. This is gonna to tone the neck beautifully, reduce any wrinkles and also work on posture as well. So a nice, healthy, strong neck from this exercise. Keep pulsing, keep activating as if you're pushing your hands away with your neck muscles and then go ahead and release. Great job. 
Okay, we're gonna do this group one last time. So we're gonna do the Venus flytrap. Take your lower lip and curl it around your lower teeth. Place your wrist underneath your chin area and press your chin forward and down into your wrists. Option to hold the nasal labial folds with the index fingers or hold and support your jaw with your fingertips. So make sure your back is straight, your neck is straight here and you're pushing your chin forward and down into your hands. So this exercise is great for reversing jowls, droopy corners of the mouth. It also tones the double chin and any loose skin on the neck or jawline. So a great neck lift and jawline toner exercise. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and go ahead and release from the pose. Okay, last time we're going to do the jaw massage and this time I want you to gently open your mouth if that's comfortable for you so as you're sliding your knuckles down your jaw joint you just gently open your mouth here and this is just going to further relax the jaw give more surface area for you to cover with the massage and please go as gently or and or as slow as you would like here so go at your own pace and make sure you're not pressing too hard. This should be a gentle massage. Go at a pressure that feels great for you. Releasing all the tension and stagnation in the jaw area, and then go ahead and release. Okay, last time we're going to do the neck toning exercise. So take your hands and place them on your neck and gently pulse your neck forward like you're pushing your hands away great for toning the neck here, um, toning any loose saggy skin, making the neck strong. When the neck muscle is tight, it can pull down on the other muscles of our face. So it's important to give a good workout to the neck every now and again if you can, to keep a strong base for our face yoga practice. So make sure your back is straight, your neck is straight, your shoulders are relaxed. Try to make sure the movement is only coming from your neck here. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and release. Okay, let's take a second to check in with ourselves, see how we're feeling. Take a moment to check in with the neck here, feel if it feels activated. So not only is it important to tone the neck, but we also want to stretch it. So raise one hand up to the sky and gently place it on your the end of your eyebrows and pull your head down over to the side so that your ear is coming towards your shoulder. Now, option to make a gentle rocking motion with your head. So on the way up, you're going to inhale and on the way down, you'll exhale. You can keep your head stationary if that feels better here, or you can continue to rock through and stretch the neck here. Exhale forward, inhale, look up slightly. These are gentle movements. Go slow if you need to. This should feel really good here. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So take the opposite hand, place it on the other side of the face, gently lifting the eyebrow, pulling the head over to the other side. And then if you took the rocking motions on the first side, go ahead and take that here. Gentle rocking movements. Looking forward, inhale, looking up gently. Try to keep your back straight here if you can. Everything's relaxed. This should feel really good in that side of the neck here. And remember to be gentle. So gently come forward and back or keep your head in a stationary position, extending through the opposite arm here. Really breathing into the side of the neck, stretching and loosening up relaxing the neck muscle here. So important for a great base in face yoga. And then go ahead and release, great job. We're gonna close out this practice with a couple shoulder rolls. So roll your shoulders up and bring your shoulder blades together, rolling the shoulders back, releasing any tension in the shoulders here. This should feel really good. Switch the circles, come forward and up with your shoulders, releasing any tension. Feel free to stay here as long as feels good to you. Thank you so much for practicing with me. 
And if you have any feedback or any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you like these videos and you enjoy face yoga, please subscribe to the channel. Namaste, and I will see you in the next video.